Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel or hello if you're new. If you are new, hello, my name's Libby and I'm so happy that you have clicked on this video. I just want to quickly say I'm so sorry about no uploads last week. I just decided to take a break for a week. I wanted to make a better schedule for myself. So I've still been making videos last week, but I just didn't upload any. So I'm a week ahead of myself. So I'm actually filming this video on the usual day I would film, but instead of uploading it today, I'm gonna save it for next week so that I'm just a week ahead of myself because my schedule was getting crazy. and. I was really struggling to fit everything in so I've decided to do that so I hope you didn't mind that there's no uploads this week but hopefully now there's going to be a much better routine with schedules and what's coming out and they're all going to come out at the same time on the right day so hopefully in the long run this is going to be better because especially after isolation's finished I want to be in a better routine and I've also had a week to kind of spruce up my YouTube channel make playlists um put descriptions in things and change thumbnails and cover photos and everything so my YouTube's have a bit of a change as you can see and also my blog post as well so if you're interested in any of that then please go and check it out but anyway let's get into this week's video today i decided to film something that i've been thinking of filming for a while and obviously with everything that's happened i didn't know whether it was right to film or not i didn't know whether it would be useful for anyone but i think it's a really useful video and i think it will help a lot of people even if not particularly right now so i still want to really film it and basically the topic we're going to be talking about today is wedding guest outfits because literally if you asked me two years ago about going to weddings I had literally only been to two weddings I think and then both last year and this year I've been invited to about three or four weddings so I've had to buy a lot of my outfits and I'm not gonna lie last year I really struggled to find wedding outfits I find them really hard to come across because when you go to weddings you want to look respectable and classy but you also want to look nice and attractive at the same time and I think it's really hard to find that balance by not going too over the top but just looking classy. So I'm not gonna lie it's taken me a while to find these wedding guest outfits but I thought I'd just run you through some of my favorite shops and outfits that I've found to hopefully help you guys out if you've got any weddings booked for the near future because I know how much I struggle with it and it honestly takes me a couple months to find something that I like so hopefully these couple different shops and brands will help you find something that's suitable for you. So the first shop I want to talk about is Miss Selfridge. I actually have two outfits to show you from Miss Selfridge which I think would be suitable at a wedding. I've not actually worn these to a wedding but I really do think they would be nice pieces to wear if I was to go to a wedding right now. So the first piece I want to show is actually this little yellow dress which is a light yellow like this. I love the colour yellow however I don't usually wear a lot of colour. I mainly wear white but obviously at a wedding you can't wear white because the bride's wearing white and it's a bit disrespectful so I try and get coloured pieces which personally makes it even harder for me to find stuff to wear because I don't drift to colour usually but this is the first piece I've got from Miss Selfridge. Quite short and it's just a really nice straight up and down style it doesn't cling to you too much it's quite fitted at the top but then it's just an a-line sort of shape down to the bottom and I just really like the neckline of this it's quite a sweetheart neckline I'm gonna film a try on for these as well so I'll put them up as well but I just really love how this outfit looks when you wear it I think like I said it looks really classy it's just really different as well for me I don't feel like a lot of people when you're at a wedding will be wearing yellow so that's my first piece from Miss Selfridge and I bought that last year sometimes so obviously they're not gonna have it now but they've got a lot of similar pieces like that going around and then the second outfit I got which is literally from ages ago I'd be sure to have something similar to it and I absolutely love this piece so I thought I would mention it because it's just such a perfect dress and I wear it for almost any occasion I possibly can just because it's so easy to throw on and it looks so nice and this is what it looks like you can't really see it basically it's got them balloon sleeves which I've mentioned before which I love it's very similar to this sort of style so it balloons out and then comes in in at the wrist which I really do like and then it's got a wide open neck and sits on your shoulders and then it literally just comes in at the waist and then is a flowy skirt as well. Like I keep saying, I'm going to do a try on for this as well. So hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better. I just really love this outfit. And I love that it covers you off a bit so you just look really nice and presentable and you're also really comfy in it all day. I think that's a really important factor for wedding as well. You've got to make sure you're gonna be able to wear it all day because a lot of these outfits, especially if you're going for the ceremony and then the reception in the evening, you're just gonna be wearing it for a very long time. So make sure it's comfortable on you. Make sure you can sit down and stand up in it and move about in it. And that also follows for shoes 
as well because I definitely made the mistake of wearing really high heels and then getting to the afternoon and not being able to wear them anymore and having to walk around in bare feet all day which isn't really the classiest so make sure you've got some comfy shoes as well I have got one pair to show you which I'm going to show you at the end of this video just to show you what style of shoes I love to wear at weddings and what I normally reach for the next shop I want to talk about is a shop called Quiz they actually sell this in Debenhams if there's any Debenhams by you but they do have an online shop as well which is really good too what I love about Quiz is that all their clothing is really good quality and it's really affordable as well I think both of these outfits were under £30 which is honestly amazing because they are so well made and I would say these outfits are more suitable for me in particular because I don't really like wearing dresses and both of these outfits have trousers or shorts so they're play suits or jumpsuits so they're a lot more suitable for me I normally reach for these a lot quicker than I would for the dresses and again they just look really smart and classy so I love wearing jumpsuits and play suits to weddings and the first jumpsuit from quiz that I want to show you is this one and it's really lovely and it's this rusty ready orange color I'm not sure if the camera is really picking that up and doing it justice but it is such a lovely color and it's a halter neck style so it ties around your neck like that and it's got this lovely frill detail as well which goes all the way around to the back of the outfit all the bottom is it's got a tie at the waist and then the bottom is just straight leg trousers they flare out a little bit at the bottom but not too wide at all it really reminds me of like a 70s inspired outfit and I just loved it and when I wore it I felt again so comfortable the only problem I would say with that that is because it was a halter neck by the end of the evening my neck was really hurting from where the tie was but like I previously said just make sure you try out your outfit before you wear it and just make sure you will be able to wear it for a long period of time because I did definitely notice that when it was getting towards the end of the night that my neck was beginning to hurt so in the future if I was to wear that again I'd probably only wear that to a shorter wedding or if I was just there for the evening and then the second outfit I want to show from quiz is actually a play suit again I've never actually worn this to a wedding but I think it would be really nice and suitable and I know it's white but it does does have this flower detail on it so I don't think it's too white that you wouldn't be able to wear it so this is what it looks like it's an off the shoulder outfit but you can wear it on the shoulders as well and have a bit of a square neck which is really nice too it's got a bell sleeve detail and it's about three quarter length as well which is really lovely and really flattering and then all it does is it comes in at the waist there's also a tie to put around your waist as well to cinch it in and then just flowy shorts as well the other thing that I love about these outfits as well is they're not too figure hugging but they are flattering the only really thing they've got is the tie in the waist and the rest of it's just flowy material which not only means that it's comfortable but it's also not showing too much either I've got one more jumpsuit that I want to show you which is actually from Monsoon and this is the most recent purchase that I bought I bought this in the sale and again I think it was about £30 which is amazing for Monsoon because I know they can usually be quite expensive and this is what it looks like it's this really lovely navy silk material again I'm not sure if you can really see it it kind of looks just black in the camera but I promise you it's navy which is really lovely I wore this in December which was really nice again because it was Christmas time again it was just so comfy it was kind of like wearing pajamas so there's not too much the front has to offer really it's a high neck it's got pleating just under the boob area and then the legs are again just quite wide legs the main feature of this outfit which I absolutely love is the back there's a tie which you use right at the back of the neck and then there's this lace detailing and the back is completely open with just the lace panels the lace actually goes round into the front as well so it cuts in at your stomach area and it just looks really lovely and flattering and I just personally thought this looked really lovely and classy when I wore it the only issue with it as I said I did wear it in December so I was actually freezing cold for the majority of the day because my back was completely out but I wouldn't change it for the world it was really comfy and really nice to wear all day and the last outfit I want to talk about is yet another dress and this is actually bought off ASOS and I think it's my favorite out of all the outfits I've shown you and again I did wear this to a wedding and I really liked how it looked it's this light pink dress again I think it's going to be really hard to show this is the front of it as you can see it's got quite a low V and I did actually end up pinning that up on the wedding day just to make me feel a bit more comfortable but it does look nice open as well and then as you can see it's got these ruffle sleeve detailing on the side and it comes in just under the boot. It's a really long, straight, flowy skirt at the bottom and it has also got this ruffle detail which is actually a slip that goes all the way up to the top of your leg which was just really nice as well and added something a little bit extra which I really like. And also on the back it has this crisscross detailing as well which again just added something extra. I really loved all the different aspects of this dress and it just looked really nice. Again, it was really comfortable. I didn't have a problem wearing it all day and I've recently been looking on ASOS 
for some more wedding guest outfits as I have got a couple booked in this year still and they have got some really lovely pieces on there at the moment so if you are struggling definitely go and look on ASOS and it's so easy with ASOS because it gets delivered straight to your house if you don't like it you can send it back and buy a new size or buy something else and it's just so easy to do you don't even have to leave your house so I would definitely recommend ASOS they're probably my top for wedding guest outfits at the moment as well as also finding a decent pair of shoes to wear at weddings as well these pair of shoes I've absolutely been loving when going to weddings or just going out in general I've just found them the best pair of shoes I really think this style of heel helps because it's a bit thicker so it's able to make you a bit more sturdy especially when you're going somewhere where there's going to be a lot of grass I found at weddings especially when you're having your photos taken a lot of them are in the grass and if you're wearing thin little heels you will just sink so I especially love wearing these for that as well and like I said these are from ASOS again I think they were literally under 30 pounds which is insane and they're just little white strappy heels and they've got this little detailing here which is like a peep through hole for your foot which I think just adds something extra and is really pretty as well and just makes them look a bit more expensive. And they're quite high, but I don't think they're too over the top. I'm not gonna lie, my feet do still hurt a little bit by the end of the night when I'm wearing this, but it's bearable. It's not the worst pain in the world. And they've been able to go over a lot of these outfits and they're just really easy to throw on and just look really lovely as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful for you. Like I said, I didn't really know whether to film this video or not or wait for it, but I really did want to film it and I wanted to share it with you because I know how much I've personally struggled with trying to find outfits when going to a wedding so I hope these pieces gave you a little bit more of an idea and I was able to show you something that maybe will help you I would say the main thing to focus on when trying to look for an outfit is mainly just make sure you're comfortable because like I said you're going to be wearing it all day and if you feel good in it then you're going to look good in it so just make sure it's comfy and it's making you happy if you did like this video then please let me know by giving it a like and also please leave me a comment in the description of where you love to shop for wedding guest outfits because I would love to know I'm sure there's going to be a lot of weddings coming up in the near future so I need to know where to get some new outfits from and I just love chatting to you guys in general so if you have anything to say then please leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you also if you want to see more from me in the future then please subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me I'm currently uploading two videos a week on a Monday I upload either a fashion lifestyle or beauty video like today and on a Friday I upload a Florida slash Disney styled video so if any of that interests you then please subscribe it would be absolutely amazing and that's all I've got to say for this video I really hope you enjoyed this different style of video that I produced today let me know if you want to see more like this in the future and I'll be sure to make it and I'll see you all again on Friday's video bye <laughs>